It's time for our max set from scratch account to get an upgrade in the form of ancient magics, which means we have to complete desert treasure, which also means we have to do all these pre-quests and get these skills. Obviously, we PK'd over 6 mil cash in the last episode, which means we should be able to get these uh, requirements and the quest done pretty easily. And we're also going to be welfare PKing throughout the episode. So we're going to have a mix of questing and skilling as well as PKing through this episode. And by the end of it, we should have desert treasure done. So if you guys enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. And check the description for any max set from scratch videos that you guys may have missed including the playlist. I'll see you guys later. All right, there's also gonna be a PKing segment of this video and we're gonna be using the tier two that we got in the last episode. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit risky. This guy is in rev caves, but it seems like there's only one guy who can actually attack me in there. Uh, that's also a Venezuelan, so I'm gonna try and kill him, I think. Uh, depends on how much food he has. Okay, he does have overheads. Interesting, let's try and catch a freeze here. Oh shit, bro, these revs are fucking me up. They are fucking me up. Yep, I don't know if this is worth it, boys. I don't know if this is worth it. Come on. Is that flame? G-Molem? Is he dead? He's dead. Okay, we got the upgrade. Now we just need to get out of here. Did he give us an emblem? Uh, no, he didn't. We got some Karambons off of him. Oh, shit. I just got smited, bro. Okay, we're out of there. Holy fuck. We actually got smited. I don't know if that was the smartest thing to do. But uh, we did get the tier 3 and we did get out of there. Risked it for the biscuit. First quest we need to do is Druidic Ritual. And this is in order to start the dig site quest. And for this, all we need is a couple of raw meat. Okay, and this should be Druidic Ritual started, and now we just need to go talk to Sanfu, and then enchant these meat. Okay, and now we just need to go find that cauldron in the dungeon. Okay, that is all the meat enchanted. Okay, I handed the meats over, now we just need to go finish the quest. Okay, and this should be Druidic Ritual completed. Now all we have to go do is get 10 Herblore so we can start the dig site. Alright, and that is 10 Herblore, let's get the stuff we need for the dig site. Alright, this should be everything we need to do the dig site. It's so nice not having to do this on Deadman mode. I haven't done it on the regular game in ages. Because on Deadman mode, I almost never have stamina, I don't have enough teleports, and I have to fill up my inventory with food, which is quite irritating. Alright, and that is the dig site started. With everything we have, honestly, it should probably take us less than like 25 minutes. Alright, and that's the dig site done, which gives us quite a lot of XP, actually. The next one we need to do is the tourist trap, but first, I think we need to get, uh, 20 smithing to get that done. Let's catch a TB, there we go. This guy's a lot higher combat level than us, so I'm gonna assume his stats are gonna own mine. But we could try and go for the kill, I guess. Just pray mage here, like he's already up so much, uh, damage. Going for- oh my god, got, I don't even anti-fire as well. Jesus Christ, I'm terrible at this game. Let's go for another one of those, pray mage here. See if you can catch a freeze. We splashed both our attempts at going for a freeze on him. Not the greatest. I was gonna G Maul him there, but he froze me. Plenty of you. He's probably got a really high mage as well, which allows him to catch his freezes. I made a splash. He's got a DDS though, so I don't die that easily. He's going for a bolt. Come on, give me a big flames here. That's not big enough. And he's praying melee anyway. Let's just get ready to. Let's just shark brew here so we don't die. Shark Brew again. Just pray mage here. Come on, if you give me a big Zami Flame now, maybe into the Gmall. Dead? Please? Come on? Is that a KO? Oh, he tanked it somehow. Fair enough. Put range here. Going for another Zami Flame. Going for the Bolt. Just pray mage here. I think if we just keep bolting him, it should be nice. Pray melee there on the DDS. Another Bolt there. 29 for the KO. Okay, we killed someone like a lot higher level than us. I'm actually pretty surprised by that. He had a nice tier as well, that's a tier 5. So you can use that instead of our now tier 4. And we got some decent loot out of it, GG man. Okay, we got a tier 5 and a tier 4 out of that. Killing a guy 4 levels higher than us, getting ourselves 168k loot. Okay, and that's 20 smithing done, let's go start the quest. Okay, and we're starting the tourist trap now. We should be able to do this pretty quickly with staminas and everything like that. I was doing all these quests literally just a week ago, so I'm pretty fresh on how to do them. Had to kill this captain really quickly using the bronze arrows, of course, and we got ourselves a key, and we can carry on with the quest now. Okay, and that is the tourist trap completed. I'm going to use these XP drops on thieving for the 50 thief thieving uh, requirement for DT, because I hate doing thieving pretty much. So let's get that done. Uh, and that gets us to 33 thieving, and the next quest we're going to do is the troll stronghold. Okay, and let us start, what's it called? Troll Stronghold really quickly, and then after that, we just have to do Temple Hive Cough, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Dad just got owned, let's carry on. Okay, and this is the Troll General owned as well, let's pick up our uh, prison key. Okay, and this should be Troll Stronghold completed. Now we need to do Temple of Ikov, which requires 42 thieving, I think. 
So we might have to go do the feud quest to get us some thieving XP. Can I catch a freeze? This should be a free upgrade if I can actually hit on him. He's going for a bolt here, and if he has food or not. That's a nice little 41 into the G Mall. And we're onto ourselves to a tier 6, so four more kills for that tier 5. And we got an emblem up with him. Nice. Okay, I actually don't want to thieve so much, so I'm actually going to start the feud quest, which gives me 15k thieving XP, which helps me out a little bit. And I just, I just hate thieving, man. Okay, looks like we've got to kill a tough guy real quick. Can I save spot him? Oh, I can. Okay, tough guy owned. Okay, and now we have to kill the bandit champion as well. People don't understand that. They're going to get it. Okay, this guy's dead too. Okay, and this should be the feud done, which brings our thieving level from 33 to... What, what's going to go to? I'm in a very long dialogue right now. It goes from 33 thieving to... From 33 thieving to... Holy shit, dude. How long is this fucking dialogue? Can we just hurry this up, please? Okay. Um... We are on 39 thieving, so only three more levels to do Temple of Ikov, and we still need to get a bunch for 53 thieving for actually DT. But that was very nice. Okay, and that is 42 thieving for Master Farmers. I actually went to the Zaya fruit stalls, but it turns out I need something called Favor, which I don't need on Demon mode for some reason. Either way, uh, we did actually make like 120k off of this because we got three Ranar seeds. Now we're just going to go do Temple Black. I've never really done a video like this with both questing and PKing, so if you guys are enjoying it, please leave a like and subscribe just to show the support because I've never done something like this before. Can we catch a TB on this guy? He's just like high ditter. Oh fuck, he's got Venom, dude. Oh dear. This is not going to be great, is it? I need to like freeze him and like go far away so he can't actually use his blowpipe. And that's how I'll win the battle because if he just keeps blowpiping me, I'm going to lose this battle. Like very easily I will lose this battle. I don't even know if I'm charged up right now. Let's charge up. We've got the Anku to hit him as well. Very nice. Let's just uh, drink a super combat if we're going to go in for the spec in a second. g him. Dead. Come on. Oh, and he's dead. Good fight. He was trying to anti-PK. Didn't work out too well for him. Onto a tier 7 now, and we can pick up all his loot. GG, man. Okay, we got an, one emblem off of him. We got 155k in the looting bag, and we're on a tier 7, which means we only need three more kills now. Alright, and that is Temple of Eikhoff started. We should be able to do it pretty quickly, because we're not getting ragged by 30 people on dead, man. Alright, we've got 11 arrows and an MSB. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, let's kill this guy real quick. Hopefully these arrows are enough. Yep, was more than enough, and we should be able to finish the quest pretty easily now. Okay, and that is Temple of Icove completed. Now we just need to get ourselves 50 fire making and 53 thieving. 53 thieving is gonna be very hard to do, but we'll get it done. Okay, I took a break from fire making to do thieving because it's the more like irritating skill, and I just wanted to get it out of the way. Did a mixture of Pyramid Plunder and the Master Farmers, and if I could actually pickpocket this guard a couple times, I would have hit 53 right now and then all we have to do now is get uh 27 to what's it called 50 50 fire making that's 53 thieving right there all right and that's 30 fire making we can now move on to willows which should make it a little quicker all right we're in 35 fire making now so now we can use t cloaks okay and this should be 42 fire making which means we can move on to something called arctic pine logs i don't even know what those are okay and that is 45 fire making so we can move on to maples all right, and that is 50 fire making. Let's go do DT. Okay, I've just bought everything I'll need to do Desert Treasure. Apparently, you can just blow pipe all the bosses in 2K19. So I guess I'm just going to do that with like 2,000, 200 Dragon Darts or something. I'll just sell everything back once I'm done with it. I just want to get it done quickly. Let's go start DT. Can we catch a TB on this guy? I'm pretty sure I fought this guy earlier, and he uses a Ballista and a G-Maul, and he has Blitz. So it's kind of scary, but if we... uh. What's it called? If we Zami flame him down, he can't blitz us, I'm pretty sure, because he's only 82 magic. And he just camps pre melee, so I don't know how I'm meant to kill him. Okay, there's this G-Mall. I think if I get a nice hit through the prayer, honestly, I can just spec. Like, if I get a nice bolt, like a 40 bolt spec. Honestly, that might have been it, that 31 there. It's going for another one. I think he's trying to pull out the G-Mall in a second. There we go. Let's just shark brew. Pre melee. Going for the freeze here. Splash, you serious? Come on, catch it. There we are, nice. Let's just walk away so he can't knife us. So he has to blister us. 25 there. There we go, those are the hits we need. 22. Come on, I think we can go for one more and then we need to go in for the refreeze. I'm not sure. Zami flame him. Come on, let's catch this freeze in a second. He smited as well. Nice. Oh, I should've just G-mold that. I should've just G-mold that. G-mold him? Dead? Oh, almost. Come on, tell me he doesn't have prayer. I might get a blister here. TY, he says. What? I think he meant to say good fight. 
That's not TY. Oh, yep, I got a Ballista off of him. GG, man. Let's pick that all up. That is some good loot there. I think a Ballista stole like one mil. Two emblems off of him, and we're on to a tier 8 as well. Okay, we're out of there. 150k from the emblems, and six. Okay, 670k from the looting bag. I'm happy with that. That's a Ballista PK. And we're on to a tier 8, so two more for this final tier 10. Okay, and that is Desert Treasure started. Let's get this shit done. Okay, we finally did it. 50 lockpicks only used. You know, not as bad as Dead Man. All right, let's kill this guy's first form real quick. I think a blowpipe will work just fine. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like it's working well, and it should kill him pretty quickly. Then we can just move on to his second form after that. And he is dead. Let's do his second one now. This one takes your prayer down, but I should still be able to kill it. Okay, and that is his second form killed and our first diamond achieved. Let's go. Well, I think we're going to do the smoke one next. This should be a free upgrade. This guy's just chilling at 44s. Can I catch a freeze? Yes, I can. Going for a bolt. What's this guy even up to, bro? I have no idea. He's got food, though. He's ready to tank. g -mall him? Oh, apparently not. g -mall him here? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, apparently I'm the worst PK in the world. Let's bolt him once before going in for this freeze. And hopefully we can catch it. There we go. This should be a free upgrade to a tier 9, unless he has like 20,000 brews. I just have to be ready to log out because one of these guys are going to get ready to bolt me. Why? Because I want a tier 10 and you get me one step closer to that. No point. You're literally wrong. There is a point. I gotta log out now though. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the only one we can't blowpipe because I don't have ice gloves and maybe it can only be hit by ice arrows. So I'm just gonna water wave it. Should be pretty quick anyway and we should collect our second diamond pretty easily. Okay, and that is our smoke diamond or whatever. I think we're gonna next one we're gonna do is the ice diamond. That was the five trolls killed so we can carry on. It's kind of stupid how the blowpipes become a meta for everything. Okay, it's time for camel. Let's kill it, the camel. Okay, that was very easy. Thank you, Mr. Blowpipe. Let's carry on. Okay, I actually panicked a little bit there because I didn't have fire spells to unlock the parents, but you know, the blowpipe works anyway, so let's go do the final diamond now. We got another fight with this Caleb guy that we fought a bunch in the last video. Let's see if we can go for a TB right there. Nice, let's just pray range. I think we won all of our fights versus him. I think we did like two, so hopefully if that is a preview of things to come, we should win this fight too. This is a little bit scary because we are uh, one away from our tier 10, so we can't just be sitting on 53 HP waiting to get KO'd. You know, we got to put in a little bit of damage. Let's fake the Gmall there. Hopefully he praise melee. He did. Into the actual Gmall, he's dead. You're dead. 23-6. Good fight, and we made our tier 10. He just drops the fuck. And we're onto a tier 10. We're going to pick up all that loot. Good fight, man. Hit him with a nice, like, back-to-back -back fakey sort of thing. All right, a tier 10, two emblems, and 180k in the looting bag. Okay, it's been like 50 minutes since we started the quest, and we're on the final diamond of Desus, so let's just kill this guy really quickly. Should be very easy with a blowpipe. And then we can just go hand in all these diamonds real quick. Okay, that was Desus dead. We didn't even eat a single food. Let's go get the final diamond, and then we're gonna go hand them all in. Okay, final diamond. Let's kick. Wow, I'm actually being attacked by the stranger. This is like the first ever time that's happened to me. I kind of feel honored. Okay, and that is Desert Treasure completed just under an hour, I think. It took like 58 minutes or so. Could have done it quicker, but we are bad at the game. But we have now unlocked Ancient Magics, Ancient Magics, which I'm very happy with. I'm going to switch back to normals for now. And now we just have to get ourselves 94 magic, and then we can start Barrage PKing. Alright, Desert Treasure and a Tier 10 achieved in the same video. Next up is 94 magic.